Hey, I'm Laurie. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, this is one challenging workout. I'm calling it the burpee bus stop. You always have the option to get off at your burpee bus stop. So what that means is we're going to start with the easiest version of a burpee, which is still very challenging. And then it will progressively become more challenging. If you get to a burpee and it could be the first one and you're like, this is enough. That's where I want you to stay. Whenever we progress, you will stay at that level. And then the more you do this video, the easier it's going to be. Next time you do it, maybe you can go one burpee variation farther. Everyone is different. This workout will get your heart rate pumping. There's also a lot of jumping. Now, you don't have to jump. The option is to always take out the jump. If you are jumping, land soft like a cat. We don't want to pound into the pavement. That is not good on your joints. You have to brace yourself as you jump. So remember, if you don't want to jump, the option is to always step it out. What you will need for this workout is an optional mat because we will be coming to our hands. Now you don't need one if you don't want it. We also may be coming to your knees. I like to have a mat here just in case. I also recommend having something beside you to hydrate. Whenever you need to take a break, take it. You're not impressing anyone. You're by yourself probably. So whenever you need to take a break, take it. This is gonna be tough. This is going to challenge you. What doesn't challenge you won't change you. So let's get to it. All right, we're gonna begin this exercise by jumping. Jump rope. So we have our pretend jump rope and we're just gonna land nice and soft. Your option here is to reduce the range of motion. So we're not up here. It's just barely, my toes are barely coming off the ground and I'm already practicing on landing soft, soft. So if you are a mama and you got a baby, remember you gotta sneak around to not wake up that baby. That's how we're jumping. We're jumping like we have someone beside of us and we don't wanna wake them up. You're bracing yourself. Bracing your core as well throughout this entire workout, especially when we come to a burpee. What does bracing the core mean? Well, <laughs> what's it like when someone comes up and is about to punch you in the stomach? If you have a toddler, you know what I'm talking about. You kind of firm it up. That's what bracing the core means. Do that. We're not just letting it, letting it hang out. We brace. Whew. That's a little different from drawing it up and in. Both will get your core nice and activated. All right, I'm getting warm. We're gonna shift it to the right side only. Now your option is to stay right here, but if you can, let's bring that left leg up in four, three, two, right leg only. Eight, six, four, three, two, switch sides. Eight, six, four, three, two, switch sides. Four, three, two, switch sides. Four, three, two, again. Four, three, two, switch sides. Four, three, two, now singles. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Hold on to this. We're gonna be here for about 30 seconds. Whew, getting that blood pumping, getting you nice and warm. Eight more, you have eight, six, four, three, two, both legs bilateral. Whew. Come on, eight more, four, three, two, and great job. Make the feet wide, we're coming to a squat. So it's gonna vary. If you like to bring your toes out, perfectly fine. If you like a narrow squat, get it there. I like mine kind of wide. So we're going down for two, lift up for two. Nice and slow, control it on the way up. So our core is braced. We're hinging from the hips and the knees. Knees are staying behind the second and third big toe and our weight is heavy in our heels. So when we come down here, we press against the earth to come back up. That should fire up your glutes and your hamstrings. What I see all the time, all the time in person is people doing this. Weight shifts to the toes, knees come forward. That is not good on your knees. If that is happening to you right now, reduce the range of motion. 
Maybe you're here. Make sure you can wiggle those toes at all times. Whew. Give me a few more squats. Then we're gonna hold at the bottom. Four, three, two, hold bottom, hold bottom. Your core is braced. Now we're gonna add that twist. Your head being your heels, you may wanna widen the stance, heels and toes out. So start to punch it right, left, right, left, punch. So we're going to twist our torso right and left. Pretty soon, whew, we're gonna add a squat or squat variation with this. It'll go squat, punch, and then bring it back up. Four, three, two, now hold. We go down, lift, punch, punch. Squat, lift, punch, punch. This time, as we punch, we're rotating on the foot. We're pivoting. Punch, punch. So just like if you ever golf or if you play uh, baseball, it's almost like that follow through. <sighs> twist, twist, squat, lift, twist, twist. I know you guys hate me talking. Keeps me going. Come on. <sighs> Make sure that core is engaged. It's not just hanging out. Brace it. Heavy in those heels when we go down. Heavy in the heels, twist on the toes. Heavy in the heels, twist on the toes. And twist. Two more like this. Last two. Last one. Now we just squat. Eight, seven at your own tempo. Six, five more, four, Three, last two, last one. Now hold bottom, hold bottom. We're gonna go into squat jacks, but we're gonna do the option first. So the option is squat, lift, tap it, in and out. Squat, lift, tap it, in and out. Everyone hold bottom. So that is your option. If you want the full Monty, we are coming up, powering through the legs, landing soft, and then bringing it down. Watch me first. It's in, out, on the toes light, Back in the heels, on the toes light, back in the heels. Are you ready? Let's go. In, out, in, out. Another option is to slow it down. You can go slower than me, that's okay. You can always reduce your motion and you can always step it out. And in, woo. Eight, seven, come on, six more, five, Last four, three, two, one. Great job. Let's shake it out, shake it out. I may have th thrown an extra one in there. That's okay. We're going to our first round of burpees. So I'll be giving you a lateral view. I'm turning to the side, coming to the top of my mat. We're going to start by just stepping it back. Now there is one option that I'm not giving, and that is to add a bench right here. Place your hands on a bench or a sturdy chair, and you can walk it out, walk it in on an angle. That is an absolute excellent option for this one I'm about to show you, but I wanted to make it equipmentless pretty much, so that's why I don't have it in here. All right, let's begin. Remember, you are bracing your core the entire time. From here, feet, mat distance, heavy in your heels. You bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. From here, we step the right leg back. We step the left leg back. We step the right leg in. We step the left leg in and we reach. See why you may want a chair there? If you have really tight hip flexors, you may want that chair there. And you could do the chair version or a bench version for every one I'm about to show you. Let's do it. We bend, we plant, step right, step left, bring it in, bring it in. So we're only in that plank uh, variation for a half a second before we're bringing it in. Now, if you find your hips are sinking or your hips are up in the air, what I want you to do, bring it to the knees and then step it in, step it out, all right? This is an advanced movement. This is an advanced workout. You got it. High plank. 
Draw that deep. You can also draw your deep belly button up and in. That should whew, prevent any sinking of those hips. I'd rather your hips be up in the air like this. I, I don't want it, but I'd rather have you do that than compressing. Don't do this. Compressing that lumbar spine. That's what we don't want. That chair is an excellent option for you. Come on, we have two more. Last one. And hold at the top. We're gonna give ourselves a little break from those burpees for right now, but not much. If you found that that was super challenging for you, that's exactly where I want you to stay on the next version. All right, feet are mat distance apart. They are not on that balance beam for these lunges. This is a more attainable exercise as we lunge. This, you may fall over. <laughs> we don't want that safety first. All right, so feet mat distance apart. Keep the left leg planted. The right leg is going back, and then we bring it in. We're going at your own pace. So heavy in this left heel, knee behind the second or third big toe, and then we drive through this left heel to bring it back up. Ooh, that should really fire up your glutes and your hamstrings. So bring it back, tap it in. Bring it back, tap it in. You know what's about to happen. This is also a bus stop. You can hold on to this reverse lunge, exactly what we're doing. This is challenging, this is, this is hard. We like hard, but we're about to advance. We're gonna bring it into a lunge jack. So think of a jumping jack in a lunge position. We're right here. We tap both legs. We bring it back, tap, bring it out. All right, so you get to choose whether you want that reverse lunge or eight, only eight lunge jacks. Are you ready? Let's go in, go back. In, go back, six more, six, laying soft, Woo, halfway there. Last three, two, one, hold, reverse lunges, same leg. Two more, then we'll switch. Last one, now let's ground through the right heel. We still have that other side. Bring the left leg back, let's get that mind-muscle connection down first and keep breathing heavy in the heel this is the area we want to focus on glutes and hamstrings now you may feel it in your quads just make sure the weight is not in the toes when we're right here it should be almost completely in your heels Woo. all right you ready to get off or on your bus stop you can hang on to these reverse lunges, but if you want a challenge, man, I'm challenged with this, but if you want more of a challenge, we're going to those lunge jacks. Hold back, let's go. In, back, in, back. One side's gonna feel a little odd. Back, last four, three, two, one, just reverse lunges for four, Three, two, one, hold it at the top. We're going to advance the burpee. So instead of stepping back now, we're going to be jumping back into a plank. Again, land soft, make sure your core is nice and strong. We do not want any sinking of the hips, compressing your lumbar spine. I prefer no butts in the air. So remember, your option is doing the burpee before this. Find your most challenging version of a burpee and then stay there. You're not trying to impress anyone. You are doing this for yourself. So honor your body, honor your time. Let's stay nice and safe, but let's get working. All right, let's center, take a few deep breaths. I know by now you're feeling pretty challenged. You're starting to feel fatigue. We have got to keep that mind muscle connection. So we're taking these fairly slow. So bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. From here, we jump back. You can either release the knees onto the ground or keep them up into that high plank position. Draw your deep belly button out up and in towards the spine. That should prevent any of this or any of that. Activate the core. Now we jump the feet in and we lift. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those now that we got it down. Let's go at your own pace. Plant the palms, jump back, jump in, 
we lift. Again, plant the palms, jump back, jump in. And I like to keep my gaze about three feet in front of me at all times. So I'm looking at that water bottle right there when I'm up. <laughs> when I'm down on the mat, I'm looking at that white part on my mat. <sighs> trying to keep a neutral spine throughout. So that means from here to here, I'm trying to keep it nice and straight. <sighs> keep breathing, come on. Halfway there, five more. <sighs> you got it. You control the tempo of this workout. You control how challenging you want to make it. You can always go back to those options I gave you previously. Come on, last one. <sighs> now we hold. All right, I'm turning around. Remember, whenever you need to take a break, you take it. We're gonna continue on with something called the cha-cha. So I love doing this with the band, but this is equipmentless. So what we're going to be doing now is shifting the weight into the left foot. We dorsiflex at this right ankle. Keep the hip points square to the wall in front of you. Chair is an excellent option here. Or grab a wall to help stabilize. From here, we kick the right leg or right heel, excuse me, straight back. We're activating and engaging your glutes. We bring it in, then we go lateral, straight to the side, working on your abductors. So it's kick back, kick to the side. Kick back, kick to the side, almost making an L shape with that right foot. Back to the side. All right, now I said we're gonna get something called the cha-cha. This is more of an L shape. So pretty soon, in between these two exercises, we're going to add one in between. So think of a diagonal, split the space in between. Let's go, it's back, diagonal, to the side. So straight back, that's your glutes. Diagonal, abductors and glutes, and then straight to the side, that's just your abductors. Diagonal, and your standing leg is gonna be on fire. Make sure that standing leg has a slight bend in the knees. Woo, come on. One more round like this. Hold that abductor side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, last one. All right, shake those legs out. We'll get to the left side after our next burpee. If you have found your most challenging version already, that's awesome. Stay right there while we advance, or maybe you can advance one day as well. So we're going to continue to jump back. Remember, you can always step back. We will be doing a push-up on your knees before coming to a high plank version of a push-up. Your arms are not directly out to the side. That causes a lot of strain on your shoulders, and a lot of us are only able to go so far. So instead of here, we're not here, we're somewhere in between. So your elbows are gonna be at a 45 degree angle, chest lowers to the ground, maintaining a short inversion of the plate, and then we bring it back up. Let's go, I'm gonna start by stepping back just to get that mind muscle connection, and then I'll, I'm gonna start jumping. All right, so let's go. Bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. We step back, release the knees, one push up, press through those hands, chest, delts, triceps, nice engaged, curl the toes, lift the knees, step it on, back in. We have five like these before we take another break. I'll be jumping this round. Let's go. Land soft, knees down. One push up, curl the toes, lift the knees, jump back in, lift it up. Plant the palms, jump back soft, knees down. One push up, curl the knees, lift it up. Three more at your own pace. You can always step it back and you can always stay with that first version of the burpee. You can do this. Come on, two more. Then we take a nice little break. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> All right, let's shake it out. We have five now. We're going to advance to a full push-up variation. Knees are lifted. 
while we perform that push-up. We're gonna be jumping back. Remember, you can step, you can skip the push-up all together. You can always remain on your knees as well. We're gonna take the first one slow, and then we'll have four more just like it. Bend the knees, plant the palms, jump back soft, stay in that high plank position. One push-up, press against that mat, jump the feet back in, very soft, lift it up, four more. Bend the knees, plant the palms, jump, one push up, lift it up. If you find that low back dipping down, I want you to come to your knees. You're not here to impress anyone. You are here to better yourself. This is your time to make the corrections, make the adjustments, make that mind body connection. And that's it, nice job, shake it out. We gotta do the other side. First, we're gonna start with that L kickback lateral abduction movement before adding that cha-cha variation. A wall is always great to have handy. I'm using it, so remember you can do it as well. Shift the weight into all four corners of that right foot, slight bend in that right knee. From here, we dorsiflex at that left ankle. We're kicking it straight back. That's going to target the lower part of your glutes, and for me, my glute max, and a little bit of that upper glute as well. We bring it back in, and then we go straight to the side. That's going to work your abs abductor muscles and then bring it back in. Keep a nice tight core. We have a few like this and then we'll add the diagonal in there. So let's go straight back to the side, straight back. Hip points are square, no rotation. Brace the core, really try to squeeze the glute as we work against the resistance of gravity. Back and out. That standing leg will start to feel it, so that's not uncommon. All right, two more like this, and then we add the one in between. Let's add it, cha-cha. It's back, diagonal, straight to the side. Back. Diagonal to the side. Straight back, 45 degree angle, straight to the side. Back, diagonal, and to the side. Come on, a few more. Back, diagonal, and to the side. Back, diagonal, to the side. Woo! Come on, almost done. Last one. Now hold straight to the side for eight. Come on, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It's burning. Two and one. Awesome job. Shake it out. We're going to our next burpee variation. It's even more challenging. Remember, if you've already taken your burpee bus stop, we're staying there. You do what is challenging for you. So remember, you can step back, you can jump back, you can have your knees on or off the ground for your push-up. Now we're going to advance it. Instead of coming all the way up at the end of your burpee back into this position, we're going to be holding a squat at the end and then adding a calf raise. So as you can probably tell, doing this without a push-up is gonna be challenging enough. Stepping it out, stepping it in, is gonna be super challenging as well. So if you have found your bus stop, please stay there, honor your body. Uh, this is a more challenging variation. First one's very slow. We're gonna make that mind-muscle connection. Bend the knee so much so that you can plant the palms. You're jumping or stepping back from here. Knees on or knees off, 45 degree angle as we push up. Here's the fun part. We're jumping or stepping the feet back in wider than the mat. We're lifting the chest. We are holding the squat. Weight is heavy in your heels. But now here's the fun part. We're gonna add one calf raise, return to the center. So on that calf raise, we're keeping your knees behind the second or third big toe, squeezing the calves and then bringing it up. Option one is you don't have to do the calf raise. You can hold this squat right here. Option two, you can come up in this position and then do the calf raise. All right, let's go. We're still taking these rather slow. We have 10 of them. Let's go. Plant the palms, jump back, one push up, jumpers step back in, lift the chest, heavy in your heels. Now we shift it to the toes, squeeze the calves, release the heels, hands go back to the mat. Again, 
Jumper step, one push up, bring it back in, lift the chest, one calf raise. This is a very controlled movement. Plant the palms, one push up, bring it back, lift the chest, one calf raise, squeeze the calves, release the heels, plant the palms. <sighs> squeeze the calves, release the heels, again. Squeeze the calves, release the heels. Squeeze the calves, release the heels. Chest is lifted. Squeeze the calves, release the heels, plant the palms. Squeeze the calves, release the heels. Come on, two more. Squeeze the calves, release the heels. This is your last one. Woo! Squeeze it, release, and stand. Shake it out. If you need a drink, take it right here. That one was tough. The next exercise we're going into is a curtsy lunge, and we will advance it to a speed skater. So we are right here, heels and toes out slightly. We bring this right leg behind the left, curtsying almost. I'm not as deep as a normal lunge because I gotta keep my knee behind that second or third big toe. Little different angle, really hits the side of the glute a little bit more. So we're right here, then we bring it back up. Left leg goes back and across. Keep that knee behind the second or third big toe. Then we lift up. It's right, center, left, center. So again, I can't stress this enough. I'm not all the way down here. I have a reduced range of motion. And that is your option as well. Reduce the range of motion. Maybe you're right here. Just make sure your weight's heavy in your heels and you have to go back and across to keep the weight heavy in your heels. Ooh, man, this is tough. <laughs> Here's a fun fact. I don't like burpees. I never do them unless I'm told to, which I'm told to do them a lot because it's a total body workout. It's absolutely great. They're challenging. And I swear they, you can always progress to keep making them more and more challenging. I don't jump and do burpees every day. A lot of the times I'll step it back just because that, that's what I feel like doing sometimes. And I honor my body. I want you to do that as well. All right, we're gonna amp this up. Your option is to stay with this curtsy lunge. If you want more of a challenge coming on my mat, we're going laterally. We're keeping your hip points square to the wall in front of you. And we're seeing how far we can jump side to side, but we're landing soft. Can you land soft and keep your hip point square so we're not rotating? That's gonna throw off your balance. Now you can always tap that foot down. That's another option if you wanna try this out, but try to keep this back foot lifted. Focus your gaze on something. Whew. You have eight, seven, I even use my hand, six, five, four, three, Two, everyone goes back to those curtsy lunges. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One more burpee variation, then we are done. Remember, you can always stay with one of the previous burpees. It is a bus stop burpee workout. Once you find your bus stop, that's super challenging. You're staying there or even regressing back to a previous one. We're doing exactly what we did. So we're planting the palms, jumping or stepping back, releasing the knees on or off. We're still adding a push up. Then from here, we hold a squat. We're gonna add a jump squat at the end. You're landing soft. We're taking this first one super slow. Then we'll have 10 and we're done. 10, that's it. The first one counts, but not towards our count of 10. So. Bend the knees, plant the palms. You're jumping or stepping back, releasing the knees or keeping them up. From here, one push up. Keep that nice, engaged core. 
Jump the feet back in, lift the chest from here. At that jump, land soft. We're back in the squat, heavy in your heels. If you find you're doing this, we don't want that this round. No calf raise, heavy in your heels. You can always reduce the range of motion. Bring it to a bench, a chair, or stick with a previous version of a burpee. Give yourself 10 of your best variation. All right, let's go. We got 10. Plant the palms. You're jumping or stepping back. Knees down or knees lifted. One push up. Feet go in. Lift the chest. Jump squat. Land soft. Plant the palms. Again. <sighs> Land soft during this jump squat. Land super soft. If you can't, don't do it. <sighs> Lift the chest. Control it. <sighs> Come on. I know you're fatigued. Keep that mind-muscle connection. If your form starts to slip, slow it down, stop, take a breather, or regress. Come on, we're halfway through. Come on, you have four more. What doesn't challenge you won't change you. Three more. It's supposed to be challenging. Come on, two more. Last one. Oh, y'all, awesome job. That was incredibly challenging. We got through it together. Awesome, awesome work. My heart rate is extremely high right now. Let's just stretch. Inhale, both arms reach up towards the sky. Grab a hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Side bend up and over towards your left. <sighs> Ground through all four corners of that right foot. Right shoulder blade draws back. Side bend up and over a little bit deeper. Unlike me, try to slow the breath down. Inhale up, switch sides. Side bend up and over to the right. Weight shifts into the left foot. <sighs> Draw the left shoulder blade back. Side bend up and over a little bit more. Awesome job. Inhale it up, release it. Give yourself a hug in with that right hand. Release the right shoulder blade down and hug it in a little bit more. Whoo, man, that was great. So don't be discouraged. If you could only do one variation of that burpee, that is just something to work on. That's awesome. That's awesome that you tried this today. I know it's challenging. It's supposed to be. All right, let's take it on down to the ground. Woo, right, blah, 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 blah. Left foot goes forward. Can't even think. We're gonna stretch out those hip flexors. Inhale, the right arm reaches up and over. Really feeling it right along the front. That right hip flexor. Woo. It's a great workout right before you gotta pick up your kids. It exhausts you so much. You don't let any of the temper tantrums get to you. I'm about to go pick up mine. Oh, they're at school. And it's about that time. Let's switch sides. And your final stretch of the day when you're done with this one, bring the right knee back beside the left. Swing the legs out in front of you. Wide, dorsiflex at the ankle, so toes point in. Inhale it up. Exhale, turn towards that right leg and then hinge like a buck. If you feel this left hip come up, come out of it, keep that left hip planted. Let's do that other side and then y'all are on your merry way. So that was my first workout filmed of 2020. It was the bus stop burpee workout. I'm gonna have two more pretty similar, but we're gonna add some weights and do more arms instead of that lower body focus, which I love because strong glutes are the bomb. If you have any requests that you wanna see, uh, let me know in the comments below. See y'all later, have a wonderful day.